And now, and this is a blessing to be here. You're projected to be a high pick, maybe not a first round pick. How important is it for you to try to keep in that conversation? I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I can only go out there and do my best. And uh, and what I did on the field last year is in the past. And I, I can only go up moving forward. Raekwon, do you, is this an event that like suits you? Are you a guy who normally tests well? Or are you more of a guy that you want to show what you do, maybe the pads on and stuff like that? Yeah, I would like to think I'm an athlete. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty solid at the combine drills. And uh, we'll see what I run tomorrow. What do you think you're going to run? Uh, we'll see. Are you going to run as fast as Curtis? Nah. <laughs> what would you, you think of that? Curtis, uh, I, I knew that was going to happen. I thought he was going to uh, – I knew he was going to be below 4-4, but I didn't think it was going to be close to 4-2. 4-3-1. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, close to 4-2. Is there anyone – like, is Marshawn as fast as him? Is there anyone that can, might come close to yeah, him? Yeah, I think uh, Marshawn will run a sub 4-4 as well. If Malik was healthy, could he? Uh, uh, Malik will run a 4-4. Somewhere around there. I want. I want to say four three. He ain't that. <laughs> Do you feel like there's like questions maybe about your athleticism or like your cover skills specifically, like since you're here, as compared to the other linebackers in the class? Yeah, with the uh, bigger linebackers, there's always a question about uh, coverage. You know, in it. and one person says it, and then it's a miraculous like domino effect for everybody else. So some people don't even watch film and say I can't cover. Yeah, because we yeah. saw a couple like tweets from you, yeah. just kind of like trying to dispute that fact because you have some stuff on tape that shows that you can yeah. cover some people. I so. mean, it's, it's been a couple of times when I've been caught on, and it's been a, like I said a couple of times right. where I've covered. But uh, I mean, it is what it is. Can't do nothing about it now. Only can handle what I can handle. Is there anything like? Is there anything you can point to that might? Obviously, you know you're a great athlete. You think you're a great athlete. Is there? A, play or something that you could point to that you think best illustrates that that's happening in your career in Ohio State? Yeah, uh, when I guarded uh, Saquon Barkley on the wheel route, I mean, people would talk about my speed and how I'm not fast and how I can't cover, but uh, if you look all year on his wheel routes, he caught about three or four touchdowns on that same play, and I was able to defend it, so... say underdog but uh you know moving forward man we're, we're all great talents and uh it's, you got to find a way to separate yourself and uh, my way of separating myself is getting to know the coaches and getting to talk to them getting on the board uh some of the knowledge that my coaches have taught me coach ash coach shiano coach fickle and uh just getting on the board and showing them what i know and letting to know that letting them know that i can run the whole defense Along those lines, like part of this is sort of selling yourself to these teams you meet with. So, like, you're in a room with an NFL team, and they want to know why Ray Paul McMillan is a good fit for them. What do you tell these teams? You know, I'm a captain uh, at Ohio State. You know, everything that we did on defense came through me, and uh, I can do the same thing for their program. I'll never give you a reason to let me go from the team, and uh, I'll always be a leader, never a follower.